delay and exit in the Middlesex Senior Cup against Long Greenford, going two halves, really disappointing second half, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, it's been a long two and a half weeks um, without football and I felt, which it shouldn't have done, I felt like it showed in the second half, I thought first half, just talking off camera, we were blew me away about how good we were, you know, the, the, the way we played, the way we passed, the ball retention, the, the, our, our rotation in midfield, the way we, we passed the ball around, and, and we should have been 3-4 nil, maybe 5 nil up, the keepers had to make two, two or three really good saves, we've had two or three real good open goals virtually and, and not hit the target, and, um, and it was just about maintaining that at half time we tried a new shape which I thought again first half worked really well Josh has scored Gio's I had a part to play in it and the shape looked good and then second half was just a, an absolute embarrassment uh, if, if I'm honest and it looked like we were yeah that, you know, boys had a bit of a, a Christmas do on Sunday but that's no excuses for that I thought it was poor I thought our ball retention was poor all we had to do was be patient and um, we wasn't patient we tried forcing it and I'm not going to sit here and you know we've got to give North Greenford some credit they worked their socks off they outrun us they outbowed us they wanted it more and um, when you don't take your chances and you leave yourself vulnerable and open teams are going to score and that's what happened and um, I'm just positive it wasn't Western Supermare tonight because if that was that would have been an absolute cricket score so um, I, I have to take my emotion out of it although I'm disappointed to, to go out I'd love to have played Steve at Harrow again because we have good games with them you know we, we, we're for in the London Senior Cup we've had a good FA Cup run we've got minutes into Sean Lucian tonight we've got good minutes into Kieran Forbes good minutes into Frank Kay, uh, good minutes into Luca good minutes into um uh, Joe, who's been who's been really rough, has not been out of train for the last week and a half. He's been really ill, um, but yeah, stand here tonight, very very disappointed with that second half performance. And the, and the players know it. You know, I'm not not shirking it. It was a uh, it was poor. I don't know where it come from because it was so good first half, so positive. Some of the movement was was terrific, and and we switched off. And and you can't. Switch the light back on when it goes, and, and and you turn it off. It's very very difficult to turn it back on. It wasn't meant to be our night tonight. It was their night, and they thoroughly deserved it on their shape in the second half, on their discipline in the second half, and on their work rate in the second half because it was a lot better than us. So we talked in the past about the, the character that sometimes the boys have shown in terms of coming back. Salisbury, case in point, with three one down and came back late on to snatch a point, but. How much does that inconsistency, where we do have spells where we go off the boil, we, we, we can see silly goals, how much does that worry you? What, what, how can we kind of, you know, how do we get over that? Yeah, I mean, listen, we have to, we have to keep, we have to look at it now because it is becoming a, a thorn in our side. Um, we, we come back against Herne Bay and won 3-2. We come back against Paul and nearly got something. We come back against Bracknell and could have got something. We should have beat. Dorchester, or could have beat Dorchester, we could have beat Chesham, we could have beat Winchester, mm -hmm. things we could have, yeah. you know, and, and that's our problem, there's an inconsistency in the group, and, and whether that's a, a laziness in the group, whether that's a switch off in the group, and whether that's just we're not good enough, time is running out, and in the next couple of weeks we'll have to start making some really big decisions on, on, on players who are, are causing them problems, because I can't defend the second half. You know, if we've had games here, like we spoke about, and camera ball and battered us last year, we got away with murder. First half we were really good, but the second half, although we've controlled a lot of the ball, we were just poor with it, and that's the disappointment. And you watch us train, and you watch us work, and it's terrific. So whether there's a nervousness, a vulnerability, a laziness to us, time's going to tell because. I can't sit around and put up with that much longer if we perform like that in the second half. But we won't, and that's the problem. So I have to now question the group's mentality because we don't perform like that week in, week out in the league. Some of the performances have been really good, even even the early on performances. So it, it's fine lines, John. It's um, I think tonight was a, a a switch off, a disrespect on the on our players' part to them mm -hmm. because I felt that our players thought it was job done. It was never job done never job done you have to put teams to bed and um, so full credit to North Greenford to never give up they outfought us outbattled us and outworked us because 
the game lasts for 90 minutes, it doesn't last for 45, and our players thought that they'd gone through to Harrow in the next round after 45 minutes. So, Boxing Day, we've got Hamwell here, which should be a, a, a local derby, hopefully a decent crowd, and then Met Police uh, just after the new year going into Truro, which is a really tough game. How, um, this is a silly question, I know, but how important is it to, to make sure we get points in those two games leading up to Truro and going to that one with, with a bit of confidence and a bit of momentum behind us? Like anything, you know, at the end of the day, we could we could lose them two and beat Truro. You know, you, yeah. can't, you can't look too far ahead. I think it's a game at a time. What I need to do is is go away, speak to, to Cam and, and my old man and maybe just go back to the tried and trusted. We went back to it last year and I feel like maybe that's what we're missing. Maybe we need to go back and look at what we were doing when I first come to the club that got us out of where we were. We're in it at the moment um, and, and maybe we need to go back to that and, and become more solid because there's something not quite right. But we have to focus on one game at a time. We have got a good group. You know, I'm not, I don't want to sit here and, and, and just keep saying, you know, there's something. The, the group are good. Mm -hmm. The group are good, but there, there's an inconsistency to the group, which is the frustration I think that we're all feeling because to perform like that in the first half was just we were outstanding. To then go back to certain times we've seen the second half performance, it's like that. That's kind of summed our season up tonight in one. Yep. And I think that's the, the, the disappointment because the group are good, individually very good as a team, as a group, as a changing room is excellent. So there, there is a, whether it's a belief, a vulnerability, we have to deal with it quickly, really quickly and, and get it out. And we have to focus on a really hard handball game because they're good, they work extremely hard, physical and, uh, and they'll come at us and have a right ding dong. So it's going, to be a, it's going to be a tough night or a tough day, hopefully it'll be a good one. Because I know the group, if we respond and we play well, we've got a great chance of winning the game. If we play like we did in the first half, we'll, we'll win the game. If we play like we did in the second half, we'll definitely lose the game. So we just have to find that consistency and um, because it's like, it is, it's, it's very frustrating. It is frustrating at the moment because I don't know what we're going to get and, and my teams have always, I know what I'm going to get and at the moment that's the frustration I think I'm feeling, that, that Cam's feeling, my old man's feeling that we see such good players in that team, so good, the way they train, the way they do things, but we can't be a training ground team, you know, it all counts on a Saturday, the three points are what matter, cup games, I wanted to have a good run in this cup, yeah. I like cup games, I said to you before against Eric, how important that was, you know, I want good cup runs, so we have to focus on the London Senior Cup now, AFC Wimbledon, uh, and that's what frustrates me, we'll play AFC Wimbledon and we'll put in the right shift that night, whether we'll be good or not, uh, are good enough to do to win the game. I don't know, but the players will perform. Yep. That's what's frustrating. I think that's what's frustrating us all. So we have to get that inconsistency right. And, and if we do that, we, we've got a good group. We've seen enough in our group this year to know that we can go on a run of games and win lots of games. But at the same time, we've also seen that we can lose lots of games. So we have to, um, we have to deal with it. We have to deal with it quickly. But we have to work extremely hard now on Thursday, ready for a tough handball game. Just to end, happy Christmas, mate. Yes, yeah, thank you. It's, uh, it's been a... It's been a uh, an indifferent start, not one that I wanted, but you know I believe in the group, I believe in in the, in the football club, and, and I'm sure we will put it right. And uh, I want to wish all the supporters a, a merry Christmas, and I hope to see them all out Boxing Day, um, and and make as much noise as possible because we're going to need that now. We need it at the moment. We need the supporters, and um, let's have a, a good Boxing Day, and hopefully three points at the end of it. Oh, mate. Cheers. Cheers.